Yeah, Arsenal yeah. fan TV, you've got Chris here. How are you doing, Chris? Um, too little, too late. It was actually a good performance, I felt, today. Remember, we were down to 10 men. Um, to get a 3-1 win was good, but not going to be in the Europa League. Well, not going to be in the Champions League next year. It's Europa League for us. Well, Rob, let's go back. Let's go back to last August. Mm. We turn up here the first game of the season. Tell you what, the first game of the season. We'd only bought Granite Xhaka. Mm -mm. We take the field against Liverpool, ironically, mm. and we had Rob Holding in Chambers as our two centre halves. Forget the four three; it was four one. Really. I know it. Mm. And after the game, what did Wenger say? We weren't prepared for the first game of the season. I like to remind you that it's bit him on the ass big time. That's true. That's true. The whole summer has bit Wenger on the ass. And I've got to tell you something now. If he is staying, it's in the history of Arsenal Football Club. That's the most selfish, arrogant decision I've seen in the history of this club. There is no way on God's earth that he should remain manager of this club. He may be there thinking to himself that, listen, I can do it again. I can't do it again. If you give me the funds, I can do it. Rob, if you could give him trillions of pounds. He's, please, Robbie, you're rewarding failure. The bottom, what, about if, what about if his Usmanov, say, came in? and gave him a big budget, you still wouldn't have confidence in him doing it? Sorry, no, I wouldn't, mate. And, it, you know, I've, I've tried all the time. You've got to give the man respect what he's done, blah, blah, blah. But let's have a look at some of his interviews in the last three or four weeks. Arson, what is your opinion of the director of football? Arms up and down. Oh, someone that directs the traffic. What, what respects are we getting shown, Rob? You know, and, and the board... Look at, this is the worst ball we've had in the history of this club. You've heard nothing from them. Nothing. You see this? Nothing. All of them should, have, uh, should hang their heads in shame tonight. Because what you can dress it up as much as you want is failure. On a big scale. Because no one here is doing their job properly. And it all goes back to last summer. Remember all the Arsenal fan TV things you did last summer? How frustrated you was doing the transfer daily. Mm -hmm. And you, you cornered uh, Gazidis here in the week. And he said, oh, don't, Rob. We, we know what we're doing, Robbie. <laughs> really? Well, you not knowing what you're doing has cost us top four. And I repeat, Wenger, if you're watching this, how dare you stay on? It's arrogance, selfishness. And you've got to go, Arsenal. I don't care you can have a director of football, you can have a new medical team. You're past it. Finished. Gone. No more. Pretty strong. Well, I've tried to give him respect. But look at his interviews in the last few weeks. What respect has he given? And you know what really winds me up? When they say, Arson, are you staying? And he goes, no. And all the press is sniggering. And all you can hear is the media sniggering in the background, thinking, oh, what a joke. How dare we go through the whole season not knowing if you're going to be our manager? How dare you say it hasn't affected the team? You liar. It has affected the team. Because Shelney admitted it in the week. How dare the board be cowards all season and let him get away with it? How dare they? How dare this owner and not accept the money and piss off? <laughs> sure, you, what you've done to this club, Cronky, is a disgrace. I'm fuming, Robbie. What hope is there for next season? Because now there are going to be, there's going to be a change in that. There's no more Champions League, so there'll be less income from that. And, you know, it's going to be a different type of football. We, you know, Thursday, Sunday. I mean, it's, it's going to be changes to everything right now. Rob, that's another sobering fault. If you're not in the Champions League, the level of player you're going to attract here is going to dumb down. And at the moment, our squad, we can't keep up anyway. So you're going to see a further dumbing down. And, you know, at the moment, you don't know who the manager's going to be. You don't know who the owner's going to be. And more important, you don't know if Sanchez and O's are going to stay here. I would give Sanchez £500,000 a week to stay here. I'm telling you. Because he has come up, he's worth every penny of that. You know why? Because he has not grown out of a silver spoon in his mouth. 
He's come through the ghettos to get where he is and he's earned every penny of it. Unlike the people that are running this club, who've earned fuck all and all they're doing is taking the piss out of us. It ain't funny, right? You've all got to fucking start smelling the roses. They're all in it for themselves. Fingers in it for himself. The board are in it for themselves. The fucking players, some of them, are in it for themselves. The journos who lap him up at every conference are in it for themselves. Don't snigger at a press conference when he says to you, Oh, I didn't know if I'm staying. <laughs> Ask him why.